Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to Sanders World's Take Part Digital Series. I'm Alessandra Sota, and today I'll be leading you in a 30 minute workshop based on Germaine Aconi's technique, a codified West African contemporary technique. The idea for today will be that we'll bring nature inside of ourselves. And we'll also bring along our friends and family with us. This workshop is aimed at age 60 plus, but I really welcome you to embrace everyone and anyone. So everyone is welcome to join in. For today, you'll need a nice and free space to move in. You'll need a bottle of water so you can stay hydrated, but also an optional chair so you can sit on. Remember that the workshops are not filmed live, so you can always press pause and then start again. Also, I will be working without socks. I've got my ankle bells, but that is only for sound. So you don't need ankle bells. You can just have socks or no socks. That's it. And comfortable clothing. clothing. But most importantly, bring yourself, bring a smile. And if the smile is not happening right now, we'll find it. So gather your hands. Gather your hands. Stay there. I'll press play. Let's go. Gather your hands. That's it. And stroke your hands. Stroke. Stroke your hands. That's it. Generate heat. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Yes, exactly. Generate heat, generate heat. Yes. So you could be sitting on your chair or standing. We'll say thank you to our feet. Bend your knees. Thank you to our knees. Thank you to our center, to our earth. Ooh. Thank you to our bodies. And we'll say thank you to the whole wild world. So sending energy all around us as if we were saying hello to the world all around us. Saying hello. Sending the energy through the walls. And then we'll say hello to each other. Going through the camera and Hello. So this is the energy. We always begin in this way. Good. Now, let's look at different parts of our bodies that we use in Akoni. So rub this area, rub your chest. Give a nice circular movement. That's it, a nice circular movement. And then tap gently and go. called your sun, soleil, sol, your sun, where your energy radiates and your third eye shines. This is your sun. Now we'll see another section of your body. Your beautiful bottom and this circle, give us a circular movement. It's yours, you can touch it. Circular movement, that's it. And tap it and go. Oh. Yes, this is your moon. Half moon, full moon, your moon. So you have the sun, the moon. And then here on your pubis or lower belly, we're just going to gather energy towards you and go Don't be scared to make sound unless it bothers your neighbors. Yes, these 
are your stars, the shining and the part of your body. So we have the sun, moon, and your stars. And these three areas are going to move continuously throughout our class. Moving continuously. Sun, stars, and your moon. But we also have our spine. Our spine that is carrying us and supporting us. Also called the snake of life. So this is your snake of life. So when we are going to move, we are going to move with our sun, moon, our stars, and our snake of life. All of this is called the cosmos. So usually the cosmos is all around us outside, but we are bringing our cosmos inside of ourselves. So let's begin. Gently marching, flat feet on the ground. Very gentle. Every time you hit the ground, you feel a vibration in your cosmos. So we we'll gently start by activating the cosmos. Put your hands on your sun as you're walking. And whilst you're walking, I want you to visualize a place you'd like to be right here and right now. Could be the beach. It could be the forest. It could be the desert. It could be somewhere really special to you. Keep marching, hands on your sun. And now place your hands on your moon. And your moon and your hands should be moving together. And you should be breathing. That's it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. And hands on your stars. Same thing, your star should be swinging back and forward. Whilst your feet are marching gently into the ground. Yes, hitting the ground very gently. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And just awareness of our snake of life, also moving very gently in the back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Everything is moving together because if it doesn't move, it's the end of the world and we don't want that. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going to press some music. We'll hear some beautiful chora, which is a string instrument coming straight from West Africa. That's it. Keep marching. Don't stop. Let's adjust and stop. Slowly and then we'll speed up if we can. Duck.
space, you see it. You see the colors, you hear the sound, and you smell everything that is around you. So this in Akoni technique is called the walk. So it's very simple, very basic, but I always say if you can walk, you can dance, even on your chair, even standing. But if you can feel that sensation of walking and the vibration in the body, you can dance, definitely. So let's move on to the next part. It's the same thing. We keep on walking, but we will add movements. So I encourage you to lift, listen out for me saying ta 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 so four pulses ta 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 this is called a call when i say this it means something's changing in the movement so the basis of the movement is the walk i'll give you a demonstration Yes, did you hear that? Did you feel that? Did you see that? Let's try together. So for this, we will keep on moving back and forward so you can always see my movement changing. Okay, I'll keep walking back and forward so you can follow me or stay on the spot if you're on your chair and just change the arm movements. Let's go. And forget to not breathe. Yes, don't forget to breathe. That's what I meant. Woo! Tack, 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 hey!
four times, whoop, left, right, whoop, center, whoop, left, and come back, looking down, and looking up, and looking down, and looking up, and head to the side, and side, and side, and side, good, lift your shoulders, and up, and lift your shoulders and up and lift your shoulders and up and lift your shoulders and release good work very good so the second part of this class of course will look at nature so we are going to bring in a special 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 tree that i really like and which symbolizes Senegal, but also is a symbol in the technique of German Akoni. So this tree is called the Baobab. The Baobab is a tree with a very, very wide trunk. A very wide trunk. The trunk can be as big as 15 meters in dimension, and it can be as tall as 20 meters as well. So you are going to imagine that you are a baobab today. We are going to bring the baobab to life in our bodies. So we are going to imagine that our feet are our roots. So they are firmly planted into the ground. Our knees are soft, but still we are strong and standing strong. So we are rooted in the ground with our feet representing the roots of the baobab spreading far widely across and around us. And our bodies, from our ankles to our knees and thighs and everything else in the torso, is representing our trunk. So the trunk of the baobab can either be hollow, so empty, or full, and sometimes bent, yes? But for now, we are going to focus in a full trunk, a trunk that is solid and that has lived and is ancient and steady and sturdy, a big trunk. So we, our bodies are representing the big trunk of the Baobab. And our faces and the head and top of the head and ears and eyes and mouth and nose are the branches and the leaves of the Baobab. The branches and of the baobab are quite quirky, a little bit like my hair today. A little bit quirky, but very, very original and, and nice and welcoming as well. And your eyes are your branches and your leaves, always aware of everything that's happening around you. 
ready to receive and give energy. So you have rooted firmly and deeply and widely. You've got a strong trunk, solid, and your branches and your leaves are full of energy and awake and alert, towering over everything, seeing everything around you and underneath you. And your breath, your breath is your blood, is the sap of the tree flowing from your roots to your trunk and into your branches and your leaves, continuously flowing up and down vertically and also all around you horizontally. When you breathe in, you take everything in and when you breathe out, everything goes around you. Yes. So now we are going to learn the basic step of the Baobab. So your arms, if you take, gather them towards you, in front of you, round your arms. You can see I'm standing nice and tall and I've got my arms nice and round. These arms are the symbol of the full Baobab. Yes. So let's do the movement of the full Baobab. Your knees are going to Bend gently in. You're going to ground and root yourself and then grow tall. And root yourself and grow tall. And rooting yourself down and grow tall. We do this four times. This is the last one. Rooting yourself down and growing nice and tall. Relax. So your feet are in a nice wide parallel. Yes like a train track. Make sure that when you bend and sit, your knees open up and your roots push into the ground and everything flows through the whole of your body. Let's do it one more time. Full bow bow. We go melt and up and melt and up and melt into the ground, push up and melt into the ground, then push up. Now we are going to represent the hollow baobab. So one arm, left arm to the side, and the right arm is going to circle to represent and show the emptiness in a circular movement. At the same time, your stars and your moon is going to circle with your arm, your arm, your right arm, whoop, whoop, four times. And on the fourth time, you change, you pivot, and you circle, and circle, and circle, and circle. Let me do it facing you. So you've just finished the hollow, the full baobab. We go into the hollow baobab. So here what happens is that our body directly shifts. And whoop, circle, 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 four times, circle, and circle, 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 again, and circle, 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 and circle, 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 and circle. Good. So let's do full bow bab and hollow bow bab. Tuck, 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 and melt, and grow, and melt, and grow, and ground yourself, and grow. Remember, the cosmos is also moving, and grow. Hollow bow bab circle. And circle, and circle, and circle, shift and change, circle, and circle, and circle, and circle, twice more, krakakin, tatatin, tatatin, eram, ya ya yam, ya ya yam, ya ya yam, good. Final two movements, the young baobab and the crazy baobab. So the young baobab is standing 
with the heel on the ground and the standing leg slightly bent and one arm up. And what happens is that you push into the ground and create a nice undulation or wave into your spine four times. And root yourself, root yourself, root yourself, root yourself. Change direction. Push, push, a nice wave. The young tree is still soft and can move because it's not so hard. And chuck, 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 chuck. Again, push, da da. And my hand is in a cup, but in a soft cup. And the other hand in, a ba in, a, in your basket handle on the side. Chuck. Chuck, 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 and wow, young tree, yeah, 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 and chuck, 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 chuck. Yes, this is your full hollow and young baobab. Now the crazy baobab is this, this head, your head. Gently shaking is the crazy baobab, a simplified version. So we'll be sitting or standing and just shaking our head to end with. So let's do all four together. If you did not get it from the first time, you can always press play, pause, pl pause and play, and then look again and practice. Let's do it once together with the sound of the birds all around us. Let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And thank you. Good. So, this was German Aconi's technique, looking at the baobab tree and trying to embody yourselves as baobab. I encourage you to press pause, practice, and improvise with it. But what I will also do and ask you to do is to find a tree that is really close to you and try and embody that tree, play with it, and generate another sensation in your body. You could perhaps mix the baobab and the oak tree. I really enjoyed our session. I hope you did. And if you did, please comment. Give me an, a little thumbs up. Say anything that you'd like to say, share, and most importantly, keep living in the movement. Thank you for taking part in Take Part Digital Series. And also, just to remind you, my name is Alessandra Sutin. Take care. Bye.